Hello, and thanks for joining us on another episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. So if it's your first time joining us here on the channel, I would love to welcome you and highly suggest you head down below and hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel and you do not want to miss any future videos just like this one today. So in today's video is going to be a tutorial video about the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. And how to set it up for your TBM. So I've got two cameras here today. One right down here at my hands at the throttle quadrant. And one is going to be inside the cockpit. So let's head on inside. I'm going to show you how, everything, uh, how I have everything set up after Sim Update 5. And uh, this way you can get your TBM started up. So let's get in the cockpit and get her going. All right, so now that we are in our cockpit of the TBM, uh, I've got one camera again down here at my hands, and the next camera is right down ski right here on the pod, and we're going to show you the controls as we're moving them with our hands. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our control setup. Now, one of the problems that everybody had with the TBM is that after the update, you can't get the throttle to go into low idle mode without trying to move your mouse over it and, uh, you know, manually pick it up. So I'm going to show you how to do that with only using your Bravo Throttle Quadrant. So now you want to set this up just for your TBM, but this setup works for my Cessna 152 as well, so I just keep it as such. Let's go in here and let's expand everything. And we give another little tap ski up here, and it kind of consolidates everything for us. So we come down here, and of course I have my flaps set up right over here, so I can use this with my flaps. Uh, but the majority of the people want to know how to get the thing started, so let's do that. All right, so we're going to go all the way down the bottom. Now I have my mixture set up right here, and because I need this for my Cessna, I just leave it. It doesn't really do anything in the TBM. Your propeller axis I have set up right here, and you are going to need your propeller axis. Now, after the Sim Update 5, you do not have to tick these anymore uh, to reverse the axis. You're going to keep it as is. So now that you have your mixture and your propeller set up, you're also going to set up a throttle decrease right here. The throttle decrease I have set right here, so when I push the throttle down, it goes into throttle decrease. And as you can see, my throttle axis is moving on the screen. Now, the next thing that you're going to set up, and this is what's going to actually get it to go, uh, you need to set up what, right here, you need to set up this, which is increase throttle. Now, this has to be on a button, something that you can press fairly quickly. Um, now, I have it set up two ways. I have it set up on the reverse button at the top here because we really never use back course mode. Uh, on any of the GPS's because it doesn't even work. Um, or you can have it set up down here using your um, down switch on your mixture. So either way, uh, I, that's how I have it set up. All right, so now that we've got that done, and of course all your autopilots are going to be in the uh, general default positions. So you can set up any of these switches that you want. I found that you do not want to set this increased throttle on one of these toggle switches because you probably aren't going to be able to do it fast enough. Um, and I feel that it's more realistic having it down here either on this mixture or right up here because I can just hit this real quick and then we're good to go. So let's go back in the cockpit here and I'll show you how everything works. Now, we are not using any aftermarket mod for the TBM. Uh, I love the Mix Mugs mod, but for right now, I think there's some issues with it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do to get this big bad boy started up is we're going to head up to the overhead panel here. We're going to turn on our generator and turn on the battery. Good deal. Next, we're going to go ahead and flip that ignition switch into auto. Go ahead and put our fuel pump into auto as well. Go ahead and hit them autopilot trims on. And now we should come down here and everything should be lit up like a Christmas tree. And it is. 
All right, so the next thing that you want to do to get this big bad boy started is to come up here to this starter knob and jam that up in the start position. You're going to notice that propeller is going to start turning and your NG is going to start rising. When that thing comes up to around 20%, you're going to go and toggle one of those buttons that I told you about throttle increase. So remember, I told you I have my throttle increase down here on this or I have it set up here to the reverse switch. I'm going to show you right here with the mixture knob first. Go ahead and notice what happens to my shifter right down here. Ready? There we go. So the engines are now fired up and they are spooling up to get up to temperature. So now we're going to watch that ITT temperature as it starts getting up there into the green. What we're going to do is come down and grab our throttle handle right here and we're going to go ahead and push that throttle handle up just very gently and that will kick us into high idle. All right, boy, now we can take a look that ITT temperature is going to start rising on us. The next thing we need to do to get that over here into our normal position and get through the gate here is to go ahead and take that propeller pitch handle and go ahead and put that full forward. And as you see, that throttle handle came right over there in that taxi position. You can then go and give her some throttle if you'd like, pull back on a throttle. If you need to add reverse thrust, go ahead and push that throttle handle down. It will go ahead and activate full reverse for you. Pull it back up into neutral. You're back into uh, regular taxi position. If you want to go ahead and bring back into high idle, you're going to go ahead and bring that propeller pitch knob right on back. You are now in high idle. Now to get into low idle, the only thing you got to do is go ahead and move this throttle handle just a little bit and she comes right down into low idle and then to take her back into shut off mode, go ahead and slap it down in the decrease and voila, your plane engine is now shut off. All right, so that's about it for today's video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit of something. If you have any comments, go ahead and post them below. I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. And if you haven't done so already, go down below and hit that subscribe button. Tick that little bell and smash that thumbs up button. Don't be afraid to share it with your friends. And as always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one.